The Washington Post is first to report tonight with this story. They're first to report what a lot of news outlets have been trying to nail down over the past couple of weeks. They are first to report tonight that special counsel Robert Mueller is not just looking narrowly at the question of whether the Trump campaign was involved with the Russian attack on the presidential election last year. Robert Mueller, according to the Post, is also now investigating as a related matter whether the president himself has been involved in an effort to obstruct justice in the investigation into that matter. So here's the Washington Post's lead tonight, quote, the special counsel overseeing the investigation into Russia's role in the 2016 election is now interviewing senior intelligence officials as part of a widening probe that now includes an examination of whether the president attempted to obstruct justice. According to this new report from the Post, quote, the nearly year-old FBI investigation until recently focused on Russian meddling during the presidential campaign, on whether there was any coordination between the Trump campaign and the Kremlin in that meddling. Uh, the Post reports that also the uh, FBI investigation had been focusing on whether there was any evidence of financial crimes among Trump associates. But now, in addition to all that, and what the Post describes as a major turning point in the investigation, apparently for the first time, this FBI investigation now includes the president's own conduct. Um, it's true that fired FBI Director James Comey just testified under oath that he told President Trump that President Trump was not personally a target of the FBI's investigation, at least while James Comey was still in his job, still running the FBI. According to the Post tonight, quote, officials say that changed shortly after Comey was fired. And now the Washington Post reports the remarkable news that the President of the United States is the subject of a criminal investigation by the FBI into potential obstruction of justice. Joining us now is Adam Entis. He's a national security, foreign policy, and intelligence reporter at the Washington Post. Mr. Entis, thanks for your time tonight. Really appreciate it. A pleasure to be here. Thank you. Um, so th this is a, a big story you guys have broken tonight, but obviously it's breaking alongside a, a lot of other big, important news. So um, for people who haven't had a, a chance to really digest what you guys have just reported, I want to go through a couple of really basic questions about it, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, with what you are describing, with what you are reporting tonight, would it be accurate to say that this means the FBI has an active, open criminal investigation into the president personally, that he's the subject of an FBI criminal investigation? Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's the subject, uh, the way it was described to us is a file has been opened uh, on, uh, on the president uh, for the first time. Uh, that is looking at him for obstruction, potentially for obstruction of justice. Now, that, that doesn't mean that that's where Mueller will end up uh, after he does these interviews. It, he could decide after talking to Comey, after reviewing the evidence and interviewing others, that, that, that the, what they tell him does not back up uh, bringing any charges or trying to bring any charges for attempted obstruction. This is just, uh, he is beginning these interviews. That's what we have learned. And when you say a file has been opened, I know that has, that's sort of a term of art when it comes to the FBI. What exactly does that mean? It means that they're investigating uh, whether or not uh, he attempted to obstruct uh, the uh, investigation. Okay. It's as simple as that. To so opening a file, uh, just that's that's FBI speak for we we are now looking into this matter. Well, that would be that would be my speak. And some of the sources uh, use that terminology. Okay. I mean, I, I think the simplest way to look at it is uh, they they uh, they they've been looking into uh, the Russian meddling. They had been looking into uh, uh, whether or not there was any uh, coordination between the campaign and the Russians, which uh, the which Trump uh, uh, denies. Uh, and they've been looking into potentially potential financial crimes. And what we've learned now is that they are looking at potentially obstruction, uh, which uh, they're investigating uh, the possibility that uh, Trump was in intending to obstruct the investigation. Uh, and as part of that investigation, we're seeing the first tangible steps uh, that, the, uh, that uh, the special counsel is progressing along that investigation by interviewing top officials. Uh, let me ask you a little bit about that timeline there. So you're reporting that the FBI um, started this investigation of the president for possible obstruction of justice within days of Comey being fired. Um, right. If that's true, that would mean that when Robert Mueller came on as special counsel, which was eight days after Comey was fired, more than a week after Comey was fired, on May 17th is when he was named, that would mean that Mueller would have taken over that investigation into the president's actions 
um, once it had already been started by the FBI the week before. That would mean it wasn't Robert Mueller's decision personally to launch this investigation into the president. It would have been started before him. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we were told by our sources, uh, that basically uh, Mueller, when he came in, basically absorbed a, you know, a lot of investigations uh, that were out there that it, uh, had been started looking at, uh, you know, different, uh, different aspects of the case. And so all of these are brought together under the special counsel, and so that way he can decide how to deconflict uh, you know, and, and uh, uh, you know, between the different uh, aspects of the investigations that are underway and basically decide how to deploy his resources. And Adam, be, if this was started before Mueller got there, can we conclude from that that this was, a, this was an investigation, again, of the President of the United States, which is a remarkable thing, um, that it was started either at the direction of or at least with the okay from the deputy director, the acting director, Andrew McCabe, and potentially from his supervisor on these matters before Mueller got there, from the deputy AG, Rod Rosenstein. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly the, 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 uh, the, the uh, you know, the order with which this was uh, approved, um, you know, so I would, I would hate to make a, an error by uh, ascribing it to a particular official in terms of uh, what's required. Um, you know, what, what, uh, what I, you know, obviously what occurred here was, you know, that you had the firing of Comey uh, and you had Comey producing uh, memos to document what occurred uh, and those along with uh, other officials, uh, other information which has come forward. We have, there's a memo that was produced at the National Security Agency uh, documenting a phone call that was made also in March uh, that was uh, basically between uh, Trump and the head of the NSA. Uh, in, in, in that call, according to officials and, and what's documented in this memo, uh, Trump uh, basically asks Rogers uh, to publicly go out there and uh, basically push back on the notion that there's any evidence of collusion or any evidence of coordination. And that, that is the sort of information that, uh, that the special counsel right now is trying to review, do these interviews, and then they have to decide, he has to decide, how does he want to proceed on this? Adam Entis, uh, one of the Washington Post reporters who broke this uh, remarkable story tonight that the special counsel is investigating the president himself uh, for potential criminal obstruction of justice. Adam, thank you for your time tonight. Congratulations on this, Scooby. Pleasure. All right. Uh, again, this is one of two, obviously, big stories that are happening um, in the country right now. I, I will just...